The I-Team exposes more problems with Title IX in Richmond County Schools. The I-Team has already shown you how Butler High School did not follow federal requirements when a student reported a sexual assault. But it doesn't stop there, as our Meredith Anderson quickly found out. You probably hear about Title IX and think gender equality and sports, but the law also protects students who report sexual assaults on campus. Yet, from what we uncovered, the I-Team gives Butler a failing grade. The I-Team began digging into Richmond County Schools and Title IX after a Butler High School student reported he had been sexually assaulted in the restroom during school. I had seen that there was a video someone had sent to me and I didn't know there was a video made. He said no one believed me. I have something that somebody could believe me with. Instead of getting help, the school suspended him for 10 days. According to this report, the office became aware of this November 16th, but that's not when it happened. The student says it happened a month earlier and a video of it was being shared among the students. He said he was suicidal the day he finally reported a sexual assault to the guidance counselor who called his mom to the school. He's explained what happened. She said, and I need to show you something that's going to be very difficult. And she said, but I have to show you. And that's when she pulled up the video. Under Title IX, the school system should have offered the students support, like counseling. That didn't happen. The school should have explained to him how to file a complaint under Title IX. That didn't happen. Perhaps that's because Butler High School doesn't know who's in charge of its Title IX program. Title IX requires schools to designate a Title IX coordinator and to prominently post the contact information on the school's website. When we looked for the Butler High School Title IX coordinator, we first found this, Sharonda Thomas. RCSS had assured us their list was up to date, but it wasn't. We filed an open records request and found a different name listed. Bernard Johnson, a name the school system corrected after we started asking questions. And that wasn't the only wrong answer the school system had. The I-team found a lot of Title IX coordinators' names did not match. As for information posted at Butler High School to help students, the I-team found Title IX materials named yet another coordinator, Stacy Mabry, who is the principal, who has since retired. To review, that means when the student came forward reporting a sexual assault, not only did RCSS not give him the help required by the federal law, any student or parent who went looking for support from a Title IX coordinator at Butler was given two different names, and the correct contact was not posted anywhere. When the I-Team filed another open records request, we asked for information about sex crimes or allegations at Butler for that school year, as well as any Title IX complaints. Richmond County gave us this, a total of three incidents, four students, all disciplined for sex offenses at school. We pressed, asking to confirm there were no Title IX complaints at Butler. It was only after we asked again, RCSS legal and compliance officer Kim Fletcher Bowden said she should have clarified there are no responsive records that can be provided. Such documents are exempt due to FERPA and privacy laws. That's not necessarily correct. Again, Richmond County wouldn't allow us to interview its system-wide Title IX coordinator, Aronica Gloucester. It did give us a statement, though, which did not answer any of our basic questions. The statement included a link to the system's Title IX policies. Only that link did not work. We pointed that out. At last check, the dead link still wasn't corrected. Our school system does not know how to handle Title IX. Our school system does not know how to handle Title IX violations. The mother has hired an attorney and she wants answers. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and let you know what happens next. As for the young student, he is still in therapy and getting the help he needs. His mother's making sure of that. He's at a new school and is doing much better.